Thank you, Doug, for giving me this opportunity to say something about myself. My name is Brahana Mugasi, married, three children. Uh, it's been now 19 years since I started private practice. I uh, practice, in, in this country actually, there is no specialization, uh, but uh, we have some emphasis on certain uh, subjects. So uh, I usually uh, work on commercial law, uh, civil law, particularly labor law, uh, contracts, and uh, legislation on uh, NGOs, non-governmental organizations. And that's what I usually uh, focus on. And uh, now, after this, I may have to say something about uh, the early school days. Now, uh, I went to uh, elementary and high school in uh, North Shawa, Deborah Brahan, in Washington High School, Maslin, Ohio, United States. Of course, anyone remembering the uh, school days, they are very exciting. Uh, happy moments, despite some of the complaints any student would uh, have on grades that teachers give or coping up with homeworks and all this. But nevertheless, I think th those are those were exciting moments. Uh, speaking of exciting moments, actually, I had the most exciting of my last school, uh, high school in, in uh, Washington, as uh, Washington High School in Maslin, Ohio, as an AFSL student. AFSL would mean American Field Service student. So uh, there, of course, it was mine to 1965-66. And uh, when I went and joined Washington High School, it was going into a new world, new culture, different civilization. And I had uh, experience, it was it's challenges, I had challenges. Just to mention a couple, I, you know, I, we moved, I moved in a home. Usually FS, uh, FSRs are placed uh, in a home where there are uh, youngsters or uh, teenagers equal to the person who is going to uh, join that family. But in my case, I think they made me an exception. There were kids of 12 years old, actually twins, and uh, we, were, we were doing fine, actually, but sometimes when they quarrel or when I think I see they're going over a discipline or you know, a line of a discipline, then I try to uh, discipline them saying, hey boys, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. And every time they, I, tell, I tell them this, they say, who are you? That was very strange to me. And you can imagine the cultural difference here. So it took me quite a long time to learn who I was. And in order to learn, after learning who I was, then I changed it instead of trying to make them change. That was uh, one thing I remember. And the other thing was, uh, you know, when I was there, you know, I was a 12th grader. Of course, I knew about uh, the, the relationship, white and black relationship. I knew something about discrimination. But somehow, uh, you don't see it that it touches you or that that uh, that may be your concern. Uh, so this is what happened. While I was there in school one day, uh, an, another professor, a Norwegian girl, called me and she wanted to visit my high school. I said, oh, you're welcome. She came. I took her around, showed her all the school uh, sections. And when we went finally to our home, to my home, I took her for lunch. I said, OK, come on, I treat you with lunch. <laughs> then she, when we went home, then the family has, you know, they ate. There was no lunch. And I said, I, I want to have lunch. I have I've brought uh, a guest. They said, no, 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 you are late. So there's no <laughs> lunch to be served. That was very strange. That's the cultural difference. And anyway, I said, OK, I treat you outside. Then we were walking out, uh, suddenly, on the street, we met my teacher, high school teacher, and said, where are you going, Brahana? Who is this? I introduced him. This is a friend from Norway, another AFSA. And uh, now, where are you going? I'm going 
to go treat this girl in a restaurant. Which restaurant? That restaurant. I named it. He said, no, 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 you better not go there. Well, can you tell me to uh, go to another uh, restaurant? He said, instead, why don't I take you home? I uh, fix you a sandwich, and then that would be enough. Well, okay, I said, okay, don't, we went, we had a very good time. And uh, after seeing off the girl, I asked my teacher, saying, why did you bring here, us here, you know, you are so generous. He said, no, no, these are not good people. I didn't understand what he meant by saying not good people. Finally, I realized that I was actually a black man, which I did not realize at all. And I was uh, having a white girl to go working in town, treating her in a big, in a big uh, restaurant. So you see, cultural differences bring such challenges. But that was, that's OK. Other than that, I really had a very thrilling experience, many, many uh, happy returns, in fact. Uh, because uh, I, everybody was treating me like an ambassador of my country there, because I go around and lecture to uh, other schools, uh, meetings, the YMCA and, and other other uh, organizations, and churches as well. Uh, I also uh, everybody knows me in town. Whenever I walk, they tell me, "How are you? Where are you going?" And uh, th that was very exciting to me. Of course, a lot of uh, invitations, you know, dinner invitations, and so that was a very ha happy moment for me. And uh, after completing my high school in Washington, I came back to Ethiopia, joined the law school, studied six years, then got LLB, and uh, immediately then I joined the judiciary, worked there as a court clerk for two years then appointed high court judge. Then after two years, I became uh, presiding judge of the high court. Uh, so I was sent also to uh, the regions, then we called them regions, Jimma, Harar, three years, came back. When I came back, uh, I think I had a fast career. I was appointed as a department head of, uh, the judicial department of the Ministry of Justice. After working there about five years, transferred to Pension and Social Security Authority as a legal advisor and department head, promoted to acting uh, deputy commissioner. Then after a couple of years, uh, the, the, the institution was restructured and the head was a general manager, so I became a general manager of Pension and Social Security Authority. And from there, I uh, went back to practice, practicing globe, which I briefly mentioned. Well, that's briefly what I should say, given the time. And uh, I think you asked me about what I wish uh, for my country in the future. Well, I think it's a prerequisite for uh, any country to, in order to go into the right track for development, to have peace, stability, and, and, and democracy. Uh, this country has uh, been needing this for quite a very long time now. Therefore, I think its children, the people, should work to decide on their own destiny in order to have a rule of law, uh, protection of their human rights, political rights, democracy. That's when we see, try to compete with other fast-moving countries. So uh, I think we have to leave our children at least to enable them to uh, lead their, uh, the changes in their lives.